Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my unboxing of my um, July BoxyCharm and I'm also going to review the products that I got last month in June's BoxyCharm. For those of you that do not know, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription service where they send you usually five full-size beauty products. That is what I absolutely love about BoxyCharm. It's not like Ipsy or Play by Sephora where you get a lot of samples with BoxyCharm. You always get five full-size items. Well, I shouldn't say always. Like 99.9% .9 of the time, it's always full-size. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's dive into last month's products. The first product I received is on my lips today, and it is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tuscany. Absolutely beautiful color. I love it. A little bit dark, um, for this time of year, but I'm still rocking it. I still love it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I already knew that I loved the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick Formulas. I own a bunch of them, thankfully. I did not own Tuscany, so the formula is amazing. Color is beautiful. So I have no complaints about this guy, and it is full size, so that is a win-win. Second product I received was this brush from Aesthetica. I think it's a little tapered brush. I've been using this to highlight, and I absolutely love it. It's perfect. Perfect for highlighting, super soft, great shape. Not a lot to say about this one, um, but I really, really did like it, and this is the H22 brush. The third thing that I received was actually three things. That's another cool thing about Box Charm is sometimes you get more than five products. So last month I got seven products, so that was awesome. Um, I got three of these sheet masks. I used two of them. I haven't used this one quite yet. Super cute packaging. Um, this one that I used was supposed to be like a priming mask, you're supposed to put it on before your makeup. And then this one I used, I think was hydrating, right? Yeah, hydrating and nourishes. I really, really liked both of these. Um, with the priming one, my makeup went on really, really smooth. I just felt like it really prepped my skin for my makeup. The hydrating one, my skin just felt really, really nice afterwards. So I definitely enjoyed these two. And then the one that I haven't tried yet is supposed to diminish the appearance of fine lines. So I am excited to still try that guy. And actually the last two products that were in my BoxyCharm I actually don't physically have with me. I decided to pass them on. The first one was a, um, actually an eyeshadow palette. And I'll insert a picture of it right here. It was um, called the Real Her eyeshadow palette, and it was beautiful, but I just have so many eyeshadow palettes, and there weren't any colors in there that I felt like I couldn't live without, colors that I didn't have in other palettes, so I decided to pass that on, and then the other product was really actually cool. It was a Diamond Glow Highlight from Artist Couture, I think that's what it's called. Um, really, really pretty. But A, I don't like loose highlights. I just think that they are so, so messy. And you know, I'm messy to begin with. So for me, they're just a bad, bad mix. And then the other thing I didn't like about it, it was really, really glittery. So I just knew that I wasn't going to be a fan of that. So I passed that along too. But that's a really cool brand to see in a box, but the other three products I received I absolutely loved. So now we're gonna dive into this month's box. So another thing that I really like about BoxyCharm is every month they give you a card and then on the back of the card is a list of all the products you get, a little description on how to use them and the price of each product. So I really, really, really like that. So here is what the box looks like. I'm gonna grab this ColourPop thing that is sticking out to me. I am so excited to see this. I haven't tried any ColourPop products. Any. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so I am so, so excited to see this and I really, really hope it's not the color that is on the box here because that's a little bit scary. Um, the shade is Lock Diary and this is their Ultra Satin Lip. So I don't think this is their liquid lip, is it? This is a really pretty color. It is not that yellow, so that's good. Here is the color. This is really, really pretty for this time of year. I love these like deep magentas. So we'll see if this dries down matte, but I don't think the Ultra Satin is their, their matte, but we will see. So, oh, well on the card it says Ultra Matte Lip. So maybe it is. But on the box, it says Ultra Satin Lip. So I'm not sure. 
we'll see about that. Um, but these retail for $6. Next thing I'm pulling out is from an awesome, exciting brand. It's from Bare Minerals, and this is their Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. So it looks like you get two powders in here. This retails for $32, so just with this one product, you've already paid for your box plus some. Ooh, these are really pretty. So here are what the powders look like. So you get one powder that's labeled glow and one powder that's labeled matte. They feel really, really nice. The glow isn't like super, super glowy. I'm not really sure how to use the glow. I wouldn't think that it's supposed to be like a highlight. Let's see. So it says, apply the matte powder to control oil and minimize pores, then apply the glow to achieve a subtle lit within highlight. So um, the highlight kind of reminds me of actually like the hourglass um, highlights or the ambient lighting powders where it's not like super intense, but it might be pretty just like honestly all over the face. So I'm really excited to play around with these. Um, Again, Bare Minerals is awesome, awesome brand to see in a subscription box, so super excited about that. Next thing I'm pulling out has super cool packaging. Looks like this. Is this an eyeliner or... No, this looks like it is a brow pencil. So let's see, yes, this is the Unibrow Universal Eye Pencil by Winky Lux, and it retails for $12. The formula feels really nice. It's like waxy, but it's not like too waxy, you know? There's the color right there. And the other side, yes, has a spoolie. So that is always a good thing. I always love trying new brow products, so I'm really excited to try that guy. And the next thing I'm seeing in here is by Project Beauty, and it is a spray set go makeup setting spray. So here's what it looks like. I don't know if this is full size. I can't see this being full size, but maybe it is. It says it retails for $32, so maybe this is full size. I don't know. Let's try a little bit right now, shall we? Okay. I don't like the sprayer at all. It's like a direct spray instead of like an all over mist. It just like hit me in one spot. I'm like scared to do it now. I'm holding it like super far away. Yep. So horrible, horrible sprayer, but maybe the product will be good. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to get this like a nice even layer all over your face. So we'll see about that. And then the last thing in here is this really cute little black packaging that says Blink BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. So this is by the brand Blink, I'm assuming. Um, yes, this retails for $45. Holy crap, that's insane. Ooh, this is really pretty. So here is what the palette looks like. Really, really pretty. I do have to say one complaint about it. Like, I feel like these three colors and this end color, like, look way, way too similar. Um, I mean, it, like, that one and that one's lighter, but I don't know. I feel like they could have thrown in some different colors to kind of make them look, like, really different. But, ooh, these are pretty. They're so buttery and smooth. Wow. These are gorgeous. Holy crap. I was not expecting that at all. Here they are right there. I love that red color. That is so stunning. I cannot wait to play around with this guy. This is absolutely beautiful. And I like the packaging. It's just like super sleek and small. So that is awesome. All right, guys. Well, that was everything that I got in this month's box. I am super, super excited about everything except the setting spray just because the sprayer, not good. So I don't know. I'll have to play around a little bit more with this, but... 
first impression not happy with the sprayer on this but everything else I am super super pumped about so that is awesome um and the liquid lipstick it's still not like dried down all the way like I feel like by now it should be I don't know I still don't know if this is a liquid lipstick or what it is if you guys know please leave it in the comments below again it is in the shade lock diary I'm sure by the time I upload this video they'll be able to figure it out hopefully <laughs> but um yeah that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one bye